Hey, let's start off with a wrist check today, guys. I'm especially excited about this. This is a new watch that I recently purchased. It is the Zenith Defy Classic 41 with the open work dial, the grade five titanium integrated bracelet and the elite Zenith in-house caliber. This is a watch that I've really kind of been lusting on and off uh, after for the past couple years. And I finally just pulled the trigger and I'm blown away. It's so sharp. It's so pretty. And I've been wearing it nonstop since I unboxed it. So uh, a full review on this watch will be coming within the next couple weeks. And I will say my collection has really ballooned. I was, you know, around three for over a year. And then just in the past few months, I've ballooned up to 12. And so we're going to do an updated state of the collection soon. Uh, but today we're not talking specifically about the collection. I will show a couple watches in my collection, but uh, we're going to do a product review of Clockwork Republic straps, which I know some of you are very familiar with. They specialize in making FKM, fluoroelastomer rubber or premium vulcanized rubber straps, specifically, again, for the Seiko SKX and the Seiko 5KX. And this is one of the watches from my collection. This is the SRP G47. It's a 5KX. And I know some of you don't like the 5KX. I love the 5KX personally. I think it's a great watch. I'm one of the few that considers it an upgrade over the discontinued SKX. But you guys can see I've placed the blue version of this Clockwork Republic strap on my 5KX. The accent color here for the watch is blue. If you look at the concentric circle metallic bezel insert, uh, that matches very well with the blue. We have, uh, again, highlighted blue hands here that are that are really sharp. So I have it on the blue. I also have it next to the black and also the gray. I thought the blue looked the best. So that's what we're gonna be really looking at this watch on throughout the duration of the video. But really these straps are unique in the market because they, they have an end link here that's fashioned out of stainless steel, 316L stainless steel. And then the vulcanized rubber strap fits into that end link. Basically, it's the same method that Tudor utilizes for the Pelagos. If you have a Pelagos, you guys know it comes with a rubber strap and that rubber strap fits into the inverted center link of the bracelet and that's how you wear it. Now, talking about this design, I like it because I'm not the biggest fan personally of a universal rubber strap. Certainly, I think they have their place, but here's and this is why I'm a little bit crazy, why a little, why you're a little bit crazy. Some of you watching this uh, as watch enthusiasts, when you have a watch that, you know, usually comes on a bracelet, but you take the bracelet off and you want to put on a rubber strap or a leather strap or just an aftermarket strap, generally the finishing on the case in between the lugs is not to the same degree. It's not as nice as the rest of the case. It often looks just a little bit worn down. Again, it's a tiny detail that a normal person would not recognize, would not know about, would not notice, but it kind of bothers me a little bit and maybe you can relate. And so I like, I like fitted straps. And when you have a fitted rubber strap, it looks great, but often the end portion uh, where where the strap curves and goes into the case, it's gonna be a little bit stiffer in that articulation point. And this, having an inverted center link and having that, uh, that vulcanized rubber, that premium rubber strap fit into the end link, you still get the fitted look. It, you know, you don't see the unsightly finishing in between the lugs. It's still waterproof. It's cool looking, right? It actually looks pretty sharp, but you get a great articulation point. And so if you have smaller wrists or you really value that flex, that, that comfort in the way your straps fit, this is gonna be ideal for you. And I think more and more brands are gonna catch on to this, th this uh, style of connecting the rubber to the case. I think it's interesting. And really, I, I guess right now you can get it on the Pelagos, obviously here on the SKX or the 5KX. And I will also mention it will fit an aftermarket SKX case. I know a lot of you are into modding. You love the platform of the SKX. It's almost like, you know, the Jeep of the watch world. There's so much out there for, for accessorizing and changing the look and the, the performance. And so uh, these straps, these end links will fit an aftermarket created case, the Seiko SKX case, and the Seiko made 5KX case. Now, again, I have the 5KX 
And uh, these straps, obviously, they fit the 5KX. And I will go in close here and give you some macro shots so you guys can see the fitment is very good. There is no unsightly bumps or jumps or, or anything like that. I have no complaints with the level of fit. But this 5KX design fit will also fit the SKX. Not to the same degree. There will be just a little bit more tolerance in placing this strap on an SKX. But because of that, Clockwork recently developed an SKX specific fit that will fit seamlessly, but that one will not fit this 5KX. So just be aware of that. If you go to order one of these straps, you've got to pick the right one. Maybe you have a 5KX and an SKX. In that case, you can probably just buy the one for the 5KX and switch between the two. But if you have an SKX or an aftermarket SKX, you're going to want to buy the SKX specific fit and they're both going to be the same price. You can opt from the same colors. They're the same lengths. And so all of that will be in the description. And I will also mention that Clockwork Republic uh, gave me a discount code. I asked for a discount code for my viewers and they've obliged with BW10. You get 10% off your order. Uh, so that's there for those that are interested. Now let's just talk a few details here and then I'll wrap up the video with my opinion here on the product. But again, these are molded from premium vulcanized FKM fluoroelastomer rubber. Fluoroelastomer rubber is used by high-end strap makers, luxury watch um, brands, you know, that usually cost a couple hundred, 300 or more dollars for their premium rubber strap. This is gonna be essentially the same material. It's very soft, it's supple. And it doesn't attract lint or dust the same way that silicon does. You know, if you have a Seiko made silicon strap, you guys know th those things attract water stains and, and dust and lint. This one won't. It's smooth. It's supple. It's comfortable. It's hypoallergenic. It's resistant to sweat, uh, to temperatures and to solvents. So really it's a durable, comfortable uh, strap. And if we turn it over and take a look at the backside, there is uh, a hollowed out center portion here just to allow a little bit of air to get between the strap and your wrist if you're wearing this on a hot day or perhaps you're doing some sort of sport activity so it's going to be comfortable and not accumulate you know sweat and gunk and, and and all of that stuff you guys can see a signature on one side the longer side and then a printed signature on the other side if we look at the buckle section uh, you guys can see a signature on the 316L uh, stainless steel buckle. And I will say this is probably the lowest point of the product. It's certainly not subpar. There's nothing wrong with it. It's functional. But I will say if you're used to luxury watches, Omega, Breitling, Tudor, you know, whatever luxury watch you're into right now, maybe even Zenith, you're, you're, you're going to get a little bit of a step down in terms of this is only one finish. And the edges, a little bit blurry. It's not necessarily a premium product in the buckle portion, but the strap is actually very well crafted. Uh, great tolerances. Again, nice saturation when it comes to the color. The keeper here is set between four different points that come off of the strap, so it's a fixed keeper. Uh, there is a floating keeper, which you can take out if you're so inclined to do so. But overall, very sharp on wrist. I like the look. It is unique. And with the discount code, I certainly think that these are worth the money. If you're going to buy a premium vulcanized rubber strap, generally you're going to be spending well north of $100, usually over $200. And so this, you know, around $50 with that discount code, I certainly think it's appropriate for the price. And it, and it does enhance the watch. You guys know the SKX bracelet, the Rattly Jubilee, or the Oyster Style bracelet that comes on the 5KX, <laughs> they're almost laughably bad. I almost, I feel, I feel a little bit bad bashing the bracelets, but you guys know they're really not the high points of the respective models. And so anytime I buy a Seiko, usually I'm, you know, putting it on a Paulus Milanese mesh or something like that. Uh, but now I'm going to be wearing my 5KX on the Clockwork Republic. These are really sharp and I've enjoyed them. Uh, full disclosure, I was gifted these straps so you can consider this a sponsored review. But, you know, if you're still here at the end of the video, I think you'll agree that I've been fair. I've been balanced and I've highlighted the good and the not so good of this product. And again, all of the links will be in the description if you're interested take advantage of that discount code. I don't get a cut. I don't get a commission. This is just a discount code for you guys, uh, my viewers. I really appreciate you 
taking the time to watch, supporting, interacting with me. It's been awesome. I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.